Mr. Posey. Okay. I'm going to ask you, so what was it like, like yeah. up there? The talk so like to all her? the questions over yeah, there? Yeah, all the talk. So what did she say? How did it feel when she pulled you up? Like, what did she say to you? Mm -hmm. um, you know, then she said you were one of her heroes on her Facebook page. I mean, all that stuff. That's pretty cool, right? Do me a favor and hold this right here because I'm going to read that in just a second, okay? Hold on one sec. Okay. Uh, could on you count to 10 for me, please? One, two, three, four. Cool. Could you count to 10, please? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, to a story that we shared with you here on The Now just yesterday. Two nights ago, superstar singer and The Voice coach Gwen Stefani was in concert at the Perfect Vodka Amphitheater in West Palm Beach. She noticed a local mom standing right near the front of the stage holding a sign with a pretty powerful message about her son, Brandon. The sign explained that Brandon had been bullied every single day in school. Let's take a look at the sign. This is Brandon here. We're going to meet him in just a second, but it said, Dear Gwen, my son was bullied from first to fifth grade. He would come home every day upset, but he would go into his room, listen to your music and smile. So thank you for your music and thank you for putting a smile on his sweet, beautiful face. Love, Brandon's mom. Well, take a look at what happened next. Get up here right now. I, I, I want to let the video roll a second more, but you're watching uh, the video from two nights ago as Gwen Stefani pulled Brandon Burford up on stage and gave him, as you can see there, a huge hug. <laughs> Look at that, and then she's talking to him. Then, later in the day, Gwen Stefani posted this statement on her Facebook page. She said, quote, about three years ago when things were hard in my life, I prayed to God every day that I could get a chance to use my gift that God gave me and make a difference in some way in this world. Last night, this little guy was the answer to my prayers, and she was talking about Brandon here, right? Turns out we are blessed here in the studio to have Port St. Lucie mama, Maria Burford, so uh, admiring of you right now and uh, her son Brandon here in the studio and Maria uh, I'm going to talk to you in just a second but thank you both first of all for being here we really appreciate it all right Brandon tell us what was it like to be pulled up on stage by Gwen Stefani how did it feel what was going through your mind when she called you up on stage it was unbelievable unbelievable like it wasn't happening <laughs> what did she say to you I understand she whispered something to you she said thank you for listening to my music and you're awesome mm -hmm. And then you got to go back behind stage and talk to her too, right? Mm -hmm. Right? What did she say to you back there? She was like saying how music is awesome and thanking me for listening to her music. Was there one particular song you love the most that she sings that you listen to over and over that brought, brought that lifted up, lifted uh, you up yes, a bit? Yes, Wind It Up. Wind It Up? <laughs> Give me a couple lines on that. How does it go? Uh, this is the key that makes us wind up when the beat comes on the girls all line up Ooh. and the boys all look but no they can't touch but the girls want to know why boys like us so much Ooh, I can see why you get pumped up by that <laughs> I bet she was really excited Maria uh, incredible that Gwen spotted this this sign from the audience um, and and that she pulled you up on stage what was going through your mind when you saw your son you know be handed up on stage that everybody kind of helped you lift him up right yep Everyone helped get him up there, mm -hmm. security, and I just couldn't believe that it was happening. We did it. Incredible. I wanted to get my message across to her, to know how much 
she means to my son and how much that means to me as a mother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You had promised Brandon that if Gwen came through the area, you would take him. No matter what, I would get him in, in the front row. That must have been hard to do. It was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but a mother's might and will. Tell me this, um, as a mom, it's anguishing to think of your kid being bullied. Yes. What was he saying when he was coming home every day? Just upset and sometimes, some days he would cry, some days he wouldn't. Um, he'd want to hold it in. Mm -hmm. And I'd go to check on him, you know, in the bedroom and he'd be listening to her music and dancing and singing and and that's all we want for our kids, right, is for them to dance and sing. Yes, and to be happy. Wow. Awesome job, Mom. Awesome job, Brandon. Hey, who's cool now? Look at the camera and say, who's cool now? <laughs> I know Gwen. <laughs> say it. I know Gwen. I know Gwen. Who's cool now? Hey, good luck in school this year. You're very cool. We're, we're so honored and privileged to have you here. Thank you. Thanks so much for being here, Brandon. You're have a great year. Maria, you thanks. Thank thanks you. for stopping by. We appreciate you guys so much. What an inspiration, right? <laughs> All right, next story here. Do you recognize this mural? It's right off I-95 in Okeechobee Boulevard. If you like it, you have one more chance to see artwork by the same artist, and that chance is tonight. But now Ashley Hansen has the story behind this piece and details on the exhibition as well. Ashley? Well, just to jog your memory, Shannon, we're talking about artist, uh, artist Anthony Hernandez. We told you about his work before here on The Now, and this is the mural uh, that he painted last year in hopes of raising awareness for autism. It shows that small child there playing with a puzzle piece, and the entire process took him two years to complete. There's times that I wanted to give it up so bad, but like I said, my wife is just relentless. She's, she's a buzzing bee. She's constantly on me. Don't worry, we'll get it. We'll get it, don't feel down. And he did, you see this all the time, right? When you get off I-95 of Okeechobee there, it's just there for you to see. It's a beautiful shot. So the mural is finished now, as you know, for all to admire as they drive by it, but it's not the only artwork Hernandez has to offer. Tonight he is hosting an art ex exhibition at a restaurant in downtown West Palm Beach. It's something that has taken off completely, you know? From a year ago, almost a year and a half ago that I finished the mural, it's just the, the community, the business, they've taken me in and it, it's been super exciting and, and overwhelming. And you actually have a chance to own one of these pieces of art. Um, if you want that chance, or simply just to admire all that there is there. You can go out to Le Rendezvous tonight between 7 and 10 p.m. in West Palm Beach, that restaurant there. They will also have uh, some tasty French finger foods for you to enjoy as well, Shannon. So lots to see and lots to eat. Something too. to do for the weekend. <laughs> Ashley, <laughs> thanks so much. Sure. I'm turning to Steve Weagle. But you have a lot going on in the weather uh, department. Yeah, and something else this weekend, Dave Matthews concert, ah. which is going on. And uh, already the tailgaters are there on this Friday evening watching this big storm, getting some photos uh, sent in on um, uh, Instagram and Facebook of the dark clouds just to the west of the fairgrounds. So the fairgrounds, of course, uh, very close to the turnpike and uh, back to the west. We have this storm. The uh, good news with this one, a couple of things. It is weakening slowly. Still some gusty winds, some heavy rain. It's cooling things off in Wellington. We've dropped about 10 degrees and we're watching this one pretty much for the next half hour, 45 minutes as it slowly pushes south. So by concert time, it should be completely done or very close to it. There's a, a closer look at it right there. And of course, the fairgrounds just off to the east of this rain firing up around Wellington too. Also some rainfall along 95 in Port St. Lucie. Busy night out there and a little soggy for some. Uh, and uh, more possible on the weekend. More on that coming up, Shannon. All right, see you soon, Steve. Thanks. Hackers can target just about anything these days. The reason automakers are trying to ramp up their cybersecurity as fast as possible. It's coming up next here on The Now. You're watching The Now on WPTV News Channel 5.